Facts versus Opinions versus Robots by Michael Rex. This one will teach us how to distinguish facts from opinions, which is very important. Very important. Do you know the difference between fact and an opinion? It can be a hard thing to understand. Even these robots get confused. But maybe if we work together, we can figure it out. Here are three robots. One, two, three. Each robot has two eyes. One, two. One robot is blue, one robot is red, and one robot is yellow. Are there three robots? Do they each have two eyes? Do any of them have three eyes? Is one blue, is one red, is one yellow? Is there a green robot? Great. These are facts. A fax is anything that can be proven true or false. Now, let's try something different. So let's go back one page here. Are there three robots? Can you say true or false? Yes, true. There are one, two, three. You can prove it by counting them, right? Do each have two eyes? True or false? True, because you can point to them and say one, two. Yes, all of them have two eyes. You can prove it, right? Which of these robots is the most fun? The blue one, the red one, or the yellow one? Good choice. The choice you made was an opinion. Is there a way to prove which robot is more fun? Not really, because what's fun to one person is not necessarily fun to another person. An opinion is something that you feel and you believe, but you cannot prove. Opinions are wonderful, and, and we all have them. They are what makes us unique. But it is very important to know the difference between a fact and an opinion. There is only one robot here. Is that a fact or an opinion? Can you prove that there's only one robot here? That is a fact. The robot is green. Is that a fact or an opinion? Is it something you believe or is it something that you feel? No, you can prove that it's green. Green is a good color for a robot. Is that a fact or an opinion? That's an opinion, right? Because you feel green is a good color for a robot or you believe green is a good color of a robot, but you can't prove it, right? You're getting good at this. Now, Here's a hard one. Is this a big robot or a medium robot or a small robot? Hmm. Without any other robots to compare, we don't know if it's big, medium, or small. So we must wait until we have more information. Now, here comes a few more robots, so we have more information. Is the green robot the biggest or the smallest? No, it is a medium-sized robot. So that is a fact. It's a fact because what? We can prove it, right? Is it bigger than this robot? Yeah. Is it bigger than this robot? No. So it's a medium-sized robot. It's not the smallest. It's not the biggest. It's in the middle. Let's try some more. Two of these robots have square heads and one has a round head. Is that a fact or an opinion? Yeah, that's a fact because we can prove this one has a square head. This one has a square head. And this one has a round head. That's a fact. Which robot would you like to be friends with? The blue one? Is that a fact or an opinion? You're right. It's an opinion. Because there's no way to prove who you want to be friends with. You could tell me who you want to be friends with. But that's still 
your choice. These robots like to dance. Which of them has the coolest moves? Is your choice a fact or an opinion? Can you prove what is the coolest dance move? No, it's an opinion, you're right. One has two arms and one has four arms. Is that a fact or an opinion? You're right, that's a fact because you can count their arms so you can prove who has four arms and who has two arms. Here is a new robot. What is this robot's name? Is it Bruno, Buddy, or Bubba? Look closely at the picture. Is there anything that proves his name is Bruno, Buddy, or Bubba? Nope, not at all. What do we do when we don't have enough information to make a decision? We wait until we have more information. Now that we are all experts on facts and opinions, let's see if the robots understand. I want ice cream. Me too. My favorite flavor is chocolate. Mine is pistachio. Ew, you are wrong. Chocolate is best. I am not wrong. I like pistachio. Is having a favorite flavor a fact or an opinion? It's an opinion, right? It's an opinion. And these robots sure have strong opinions. Yuck. Pistachio is nasty. Chocolate is gross. We are getting chocolate. No way, Buckethead. <laughs> are the robots fighting? Is that a fact or an opinion? It's a fact that they're fighting, right? Because you can prove that they're fighting with your eyes. You can see it. Let's repair the robots and see if we can do better. I want ice cream. Me too. Yum. My favorite flavor is chocolate. Mine is pistachio. Yum. I like oil on my ice cream. I like nuts and bolts on mine. See how it helps to listen to each other's opinions? Here are two more robots. Let's see what happens with them. Scary movies are the best. But I like cute movies with puppies. Don't be a baby. We're watching a scary movie. No, please turn it off. Boo. Is the blue robot being a good friend? By ignoring the opinions of others, we can hurt their feelings. Maybe the blue robot needs to be rebooted. So you don't like scary movies? I don't like cute puppy movies. Do you like space movies? I do. I do like space movies. Yay, let's watch a space movie now. I hope there aren't too many humans in it. Whoosh. Yay, the Ruba, Ruby, Re reboot worked out well. Now, looking back, who's, look who is back and wants to watch the movie. I brought some popcorn. Remember when we wanted to know this robot's name? Is it Bruno, Buddy, or Bubba? It's Bubba. That is now a fact. Why is it a fact? Can we prove it? He's wearing a name tag that says my name is Bubba. So we can prove that his name is Bubba. These robots have figured out a lot. You see, when we respect the opinions of others, we can all get along. Now that we know the difference between facts and opinions, it's important to remember that while we try not to argue about our opinions, we can't argue with facts. Oh no, this is the last page of the book. Is that a fact or an opinion? Is this an awesome book? Is that a fact or an opinion?
Well, it is a fact that this is not the last page of the book because there's this page. So that's the last page of the book. So it is a incorrect fact. Is this an awesome book? That's an opinion. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. If you want, you can read it again, and that's a fact. You can read it again, that's true. Good night. I love you.